September coming, it would be nine years. Nine whole years? Nine whole years. So how many weddings do you think you've done? I don't think I can really. I don't have the number on the top of my head, but I would definitely say I've done over 100 thus far. Wow, all right. <laughs> so what is your routine? So when you turn up on site, what's a typical morning like for you? Okay, well, I just, with first things first, I always ensure that I arrive on time because, you know, I need time set to set up and sometimes the environment that I come into, I'm not familiar with it. So I just want to give myself time to like familiarize myself and then get, see what the room is like and then start setting up for the room to optimize light and picture taking and all that stuff and space. Okay. So lots of brides want to know, this whole airbrush thing, mm -hmm. right? Is it necessary? Would you recommend it or is regular makeup okay? I would always recommend airbrush. I would always stand for airbrush. Airbrush is something that is the next level. So if it is that you want something that will be flawless, it will wear all day through tears, laughter, any emotion that you might experience on your mm -hmm. big day. Yeah, airbrush will definitely withstand all of that, inclusive of the weather, which is a major factor when it comes to especially older weddings. Okay, well, I mean, I see you already prepared with your ring lights, are you? I try and all these things. Girl. Yes, yes, it has to be. It's because a part I mean, of I the... situations where we have to try and recreate this light. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I can't afford to guess what is happening at the location I'm going to, mm -hmm. so I just cheer, lights, my tools, makeup, ready, go. All right, so what kind of tools are talking about now? So we're talking What's about... What's like kit? Well, I have a, a wide range of products. Mm -hmm. Some are pro brands, so if I was to say the name, I know a whole lot of people would be like, eh? But it's pro for a reason, because the people I'm doing makeup on are wearing this for 12 hours max. Maybe sometimes even into 24 hours, I've had brides and bridesmaids send me pictures and say, you know, I still have your makeup on. I'm like, it's 36 yeah, hours later, what are you doing? Please wash it off. <laughs> But that just goes to show mm -hmm. the, the level and the quality of stuff that I have in my kit because I want to ensure that you Surprise. get you where, yeah. Everything proof, everything proof. Pump it's on budget. Pump. Yep, kiss proof. Yeah. Make, Consummate the marriage proof. Ah, yes. Okay. Cake, yeah. smear proof, everything. Okay. All right. So how do you, how would you say we met? Like, how do we start working together? I mean, we know each other a long time. But, you know, We've you know, known work. each other for a long time. However, we actually met in person at um, a wedding vendors meeting. And I've always spoken to you online. I'm like, you know, she seems like a cool girl. But when I finally met Chloe, I was like, wow. First of all, my first impression, <laughs> no, my first impression was like, this girl is a powerhouse and she just doesn't stop. Oh my God. But then it kind of made sense to see, especially her in action on the actual wedding, like if she uses that to her advantage because, wow, I can't keep up, but I just know that things are getting done. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, what would you say is a moment where you thought, this is why I do this? Like that moment for you, where you had a bride, you're just like, oh, this is why I keep doing this. I get that moment almost every wedding. It's oh, not sorry. the same. My apologies. I'm, <laughs> it's not the same moment. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not boasting. I'm just grateful because mm -hmm. I've, I've heard some of the stories from my colleagues, and I'm like, why? I can't help it there. But I get that moment almost every wedding. Whether it's the bride coming to me, telling, telling me about, you know. We get talking and mm -hmm. she tells me about certain things that she's insecure about and I'm like, don't worry girl, I'm going to fix you all up. You ain't got to worry about a thing. Today is your day. Mm -hmm. So after the reveal, that's one of the biggest moments that I always get because some of them get emotional. And they're like, am I really getting married today? And I'm like, just wait until the setting spray dries before you start <laughs> crying, please. And I promise you can ball your eyes out all day. <laughs> so that's one of the biggest... This is why I do what I do moments okay. that I get. So what are we doing now? Okay, so... This is what we call the bake time? A bake -a I'm not baking, I'm setting. I'm not leaving any excess powder underneath her eyes to, for it to be considered baking. I don't want to bake her either because I don't want to dry out her skin. 
So I've ensured that I've prepped her skin before I started the airbrush process to ensure that all the oils that her face produces will be kept in check. Let's talk about the skin. Mm -hmm. A lot of brides always think, oh, you know, my skin is oily or very dry skin. Mm -hmm. the products that work for my face. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the reasons why I tell my brides all the time the trial is so important. Yes, because yes. Because I'm not about, you know, a situation where on the day we're doing, not saying that you have to do guesswork, but at least you know what you're dealing with at mm -hmm. the time. Um, talk to me more on that. I mean, I'm, I'm so happy that brides, especially that I get put so much faith in me mm -hmm. because they've seen my work as like, oh, I'm happy and, you know, you, I, I trust you, 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 do, you know what you're doing. But so for the... Destination brides. For, I get that from Destination Brides as well. It's mm -hmm. like they just see the work, they love the work, and it's like, oh, I don't need a trial. I, I trust you, do what you do. It's like, no, I'm please please come and do a trial because yeah. remember, we haven't seen each other, so I can't even have a sit down, even if it's just a sit down to assess your face and we talk about what skin issues that you're having, if anything that we need to talk about, if you're allergic to anything, that specifically is what the trial is most important for. Even if I don't get to do your face, even though that would be ideal, but just to sit down and have a talk with you and get to know what's happening in your skin life so I can prepare. Right. for you on the wedding day. So is there something I, as a bride they should be doing before the wedding? Because I know some brides are like, let me go my spa day, oh, my mm -hmm. body massage, I want my facial. Do you recommend getting a facial before the wedding? And if so, when? I or do. I do, but don't do anything new at least a month in advance because if it is that you're going to try things new, you want your skin time to react mm -hmm. and then recover because you don't want any scars or bumps or any reactions right. showing through your pictures on your day. So you can definitely go ahead and book any spa treatment that you need, yeah, especially if it's new, mm -hmm. a month out. If it's something that is not new, I would say two weeks in advance. Okay, so no facials the week of the wedding? No facials the week of the wedding. Okay, cool. So what are we doing now? All right, so I'm, <laughs> I'm bringing structure back to her face mm -hmm. because the foundation, it's to even out the skin tone. So it will even out the high points and the low points in her face. So I'm just putting them back now. So when she takes her pictures, she doesn't wash out in the picture. Okay. So how many people, let's say bridesmaids or the bridal party, are you able to manage on your own? I'm able to manage up to eight on my own. Mm -hmm. I just let the bride know that I will be coming early. I will be there very early, but don't worry. The makeup will stay all day. I'm going to prep the skin and make sure that it's the same quality from when I finish to when you walk down the aisle. Okay. So if a bride asks, you know, if you have an assistant, is there a situation where you need one or depending on the, how does that work? Definitely. So I would definitely have a, t a talk with her to say, you know, if she's specifically asking for a bride, especially if the numbers don't require one, mm -hmm. I would ask her why to get the logic behind the question and then we can move from there whether or not we can say, okay, I'll definitely bring an assistant for you or no, it's not necessary, you know, because we want the day to move as efficiently as right. possible. For me, um, when I choose I guess a preferred makeup artist for my weddings. I let my brides know that if a makeup artist takes, this is my preference, but a mm -hmm. makeup artist takes longer than 45 minutes, mm -hmm. it's a problem for me because mm -hmm. we have a lot to get done in the mm -hmm. day. And we're pretty much swatching, I'm swatching, <laughs> switching between, you know, the makeup artist and the hairstylist. Yeah. Um, I know that things happen and sometimes they might run behind, mm -hmm. but I find that beauty is something that we can rush, but it needs to be done well. Mm -hmm. um, would you say that's something that you've, I guess, gotten under your belt? Um, is it something that you are mindful of? Is it something you talk to the wedding planner about? I know we talk about it, mm -hmm. right? That's something that we have to mm -hmm. have. I have a one-on-one -on -one with all my suppliers mm -hmm. to talk about my expectations. But let's say it's for a wedding planner or a bride that you've never worked with before. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Okay, so for my preference and my comfort and to ensure that I make time for those moments that go, oop, this wasn't planned. I tell the bride that for each person that I do, that's an hour slot. So it would give me maximum 15, 20 minutes mm -hmm. to prepare for any unforeseen and to pivot when I need to give myself time to learn right. how to pivot. Okay. So 
we've had the moisturizer on the face first, mm -hmm. right? We did the airbrush. Mm -hmm. We mattified all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We added dimension to our face. Mm -hmm. We added some blush there. What's next? So I'm going into her brow, so I'm just prepping her eye area, mm -hmm. so I have an easier time to sculpt and shape her brows. She thankfully, even though it's not recent, but I see that she has shaped her brows, which is a massive help to me, especially if we're trying Surprise, to move. <laughs> Please. Please, if you are going to wax them, kind of gauge it between how fast your hair grows and how soon it is to your day because I've had some brides that regularly wax their brows and then they get their brows waxed probably two to three days before the wedding and they still have this big rash going on mm. on where they got waxed and it, they said they don't know where it's coming from it probably is a mixture of stress and everything else so I'm just gonna please advise you guys if you're gonna wax your brows especially Give it about four to five days in advance, just in case. Mm -hmm. So, products are good. So how do you charge? Do you charge by the hour? Do you charge by face? Walk me through your process. All right, so for the booking itself, when the bride or the, or the wedding planner comes to me and books, I charge per face. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I charge per hour is touch-ups. Even though That's a good point. I've, a I've, been, I've been at many a wedding waiting to touch up and I'm just going there, mm, twiddling my fingers because nobody needs a touch up. Lipstick is there, makeup still intact, and I'm like, hey, <laughs> you know, having fun in the side, going yay, <laughs> cheering for all the high points that happens. So, yeah, that's so what that's touch -ups about. Is Definitely. So touch-ups is per hour. Per hour. And mm -hmm. then for application, it's per face. Mm -hmm. okay. And dependent on the type of application, whether it's airbrush or traditional. Okay, understood. So if I am on Pinterest or I'm on Instagram and I'm like, oh, I love this, I want to get this done, mm -hmm. are you able to replicate I am, what I have mm -hmm. in a picture? I'm able to replicate to some degree because what people, most people who bring inspiration to me they want to look exactly like the picture and I'm like well are you the person in the photo and you know of course the answer is going to be no unless they bring me a picture of themselves so I can replicate the the vision and the idea that they have in their head but it's not always going to look the same but I never usually have any issues with that Understood. so see like our model has all that space mm -hmm. like between her eyelash and her Eyebrows. Uh -huh. I mean, I have. I don't have that space. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Exists. So I, 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 always try to. Oh, I want a smoky eye. But my face be like, no girl. It's not no happening. Like. <laughs> so I can understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I look like a raccoon. Mm -hmm. I definitely. For I mean, for the want of a better word, raccoon. But yeah, that's what some some of our girls honestly do end up looking like. You have to. Just convey the idea to your makeup artist as best as possible what you're going for so then the makeup artist can then tailor it to what your face is giving them at the time. Okay. So, any tips for my brides? I mean, you've been giving us a lot today. But I mean, is there anything else that you think we haven't covered? Is there anything that, you know, is a must for you? <laughs> if you could say something like, you must do this. I mean, not necessarily a must, but it definitely does help on a day that's such filled with high, strong energy and pressure is that ensure you vibe with your makeup artist, which kind of ties it back to the trial. You need to meet with your makeup artist and know that, okay, she is going to help to add to the air of calm and relaxation that you strive for on the day. You don't want anybody that's going to have an attitude, you don't have anybody that's not going to give you what you want, within reason. Mm -hmm. you, you, you don't want that added stress on that day. So ensure that, ensure that you vibe with your makeup artist.
What's your favorite movie right now? Um, I recently just watched Spider-Man Far From Home and um, yes, I know, I know, okay? I don't really have the time to like be on point with everything, but I recently watched it and it was good, okay? That's, That's my favorite movie. Yeah. I'm yep. What's the best meal you've ever had? Oh my God, I would always say oxtail. Oxtail is forever my favorite meal. It don't matter. Any time True, of day, year, on. listen, oxtail. True. <laughs> Propose to me. What is your secret me. talent that no one knows about? Do I have any secrets? I don't know. I can pick things up with my feet. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, no. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's okay. If you could be any animal, which would you be and why? A cat, because cats are awesome and they're regal and they're royal. Boom. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for our bridal look today, we are bringing something that has been a popular request since 2019 for brides who have been booking for 2020. Most of the inspiration pictures that I've received is a really bold gold bright eye with a semi-muted lip. Um, not too dewy, but not too matte at the same time. And it is something that will stand the test of time on your wedding day. And this is the look also, sorry, with um, smoked out lines. We don't want any harsh lines. We want everything to be soft and beautiful and ethereal for the big day. So close your eyes for me. For any type of camera.